the Fender Rhodes Electric Piano. It was one of the most widely produced, the most successful, and one of the most fundamental sounds of music from the 70s and beyond. According to Billboard magazine, 82% of number one hits in 1976 with an electric piano used the Rhodes. Once it's started, though, yeah, there's no one place you can place it. You know, everybody uses it. Its sweeping popularity was evident from being used by the biggest names in music, like the Beatles. Elton John. God, it looks like Daniel. Must be the clouds in my Stevie Wonder. You call my name. And jazz artists like Herbie Hancock. That changed my life forever, and that, that was because of, of uh, the Fender Rhodes piano. On the 50th anniversary of the Rhodes, we take a look at the beginnings of the piano, stemming from music educator and inventor Harold Rhodes. We'll see how Harold's idea, teaching piano to wounded soldiers in World War II, led to the invention of a portable keyboard. He wanted to design a piano that would fit over a wounded soldier's uh, bed. Uh, he never thought of himself as an inventor. He thought of himself as a teacher. And in total, Harold taught one quarter of a million soldiers to play piano. After the war, Harold then paired with Leo Fender. The involvement that Leo Fender had in the, in the early days was pretty significant. They were fairly difficult to make. With the sale of Fender to CBS, Harold's design was realized. <laughs> Many artists began experimenting with these new electric pianos in their sound. And then the, the eventful night when Miles threw an electric piano in front of me. Miles Davis did Bitches Brew and the Fender Rhodes definitely was a major part of that sound. It became the choice instrument of many pianists. It's gone from being a product to being an icon. And this film will be interviewing Rhodes masters through the years, like Joe Sample. George Duke, The Doors. Then we put the Fender Rhodes keyboard bass on top of the Vox Continental. Absolutely amazing. And Jim just loved the sound. Chick Corea. Ramsey Lewis. Larry Dunn. Rodney Franklin. John Novello. Jeff Lorber. Patrice Russian. James, Greg Fillin Gaines, Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Ronnie Foster,
Sister Rosa, you touch my life. And with these hands. We'll also have great insight from other relevant musicians on the roads, like Marcus Miller. Just about every song, when I was a kid learning about music, uh, early on, every song had a Fender Rose. George Benson. So it became uh, like the guitar, portable instrument. Lenny White. Chick, Larry, and Joe played Rhodeses. They all played together on the Spanish key. Stanley Clark. Every time I look at these Fender Rhodes, I remember all the times I used to have to help Chick carry these things. Um, all my dad's records um, have the Rhodes on them. Years after the company's collapse, musicians have begun a Rhodes revival using these original vintage pianos in their sound, including artists like Justin Timberlake, Jill Scott, some of the biggest names in the music industry are coming together to share their stories about this incredible instrument. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It was an amazing journey, man.